In this video we're going to look at the difference between routing and tracks. In the previous videos we've created tracks and we've understood those to be a selection of little points that we've created on the map that we've joined up to create our walking track. But you might be wanting to use a Garmin device for maybe as a sat nav in your car, in which case we can use the root op routing option and it will do some of the work for us so that we don't have to put all the different points on. The first thing you want to do is to go into edit at the top here to change some of the settings. I'm going to go options where we go to change things about the base camp and I'm going to click on the little activity profile and I'm going to change here from hiking to driving and this is now setting up all our different preferences to do with when we're actually creating a driving journey and if I click on routing here you can see there are some settings and we can choose here whether we want to avoid large roads, residential roads, etc. We could create a route that actually includes only, you know, doesn't have the major highway, so it includes little side roads and things like that. But at the moment, we won't bother setting that one. And here, all we've done is we're avoiding unpaved roads. So, we've, but we've got lots of options here we could do. So once you've got those settings, just click on OK. Now I'm going to go up to the toolbar along here. And instead of new track like we did last time, we're going to have a new route. So I'm going to select that and close that for the moment. And if I choose a point up here and then draw a line to point over here that we want to go to, you will see that it's automatically created the route for us it's taken the two points the starting point at the end point and it's found a road that we can follow and it's created the route for us automatically so you can see instead of putting lots of little points in like we would with a track we're just putting a start point and an end point and then the base camp software is doing all the hard work for us and that's created a route and you'll see if I put back to the panning tool, you now see we've got a route that is the A20 where we started to shell, which is where we wanted to finish. So it's taken us all the way through the roads and we didn't have to do anything to set that up. So that's how to create a route. And you can see as long as you've got a routable area that you want to follow, that's a much simpler way of doing things.